it's Gator Bowl time again. Time for one of the outstanding football classics of the year. And Jacksonville, Florida is alive with activity. The activity begins with the regatta sailing events. Sometimes called the most hectic and happiest time of the year, it's Jacksonville's year-end tribute to the sporting world. It's a mixed bag of sports and entertainment for a majority of citizens, a lot of work for others, and above all, fun for everyone. This year, the outboard motor races are as popular as ever. Ten outboard events have been set up, and more than 3,000 spectators are on hand to watch the excitement. In the feature event, a 10-lap run over the one-and-a-half-mile course for the Visor Trophy, Dick Griffith of Clearwater, Florida, is first over the finish line. And at the Yacht Club, it's time for the annual predicted log race, sponsored by the Jacksonville Power Squadron. Skippers are putting forth their best efforts to win the coveted trophy. Navigational skill and handling are essential elements in this battle against wind and currents. It's a contest where precision counts more than speed, with the prize going to the one who comes closest in performance to what he has predicted for himself and his boat. For the Cage fans, it's the annual Gator Bowl basketball tourney, rated as one of the best holiday sessions in the nation. This year, invitations went to Florida, Georgia Tech, Bradley, and St. Bonaventure. After Bradley pinned a fourth place tag on the Gators in the consolation game, Georgia Tech and St. Bonnie got down to business. The Bonnies trailed most of the night and were behind with five minutes to go. Then St. Bonaventure, making a few breaks of its own and taking advantage of Georgia Tech mistakes, squeezed on the Gator Bowl basketball tournament crown with a 70 to 68 win over the Yellow Jackets. Gator Bowl president L.C. Ringhaver presents the winner's trophy to the Bonnies. Part of Gator Bowl week is wrapped up in the social whirl of the annual president's ball, and this year's event is a highlight of the hectic, happy week. Climax of the evening is the coronation of Gator Bowl Queen. This year, the crown went to lovely blue-eyed Claudia Ann St. Dennis. And Queen Claudia reigns over the big event with Princesses Diane Lasota and Katie Ball, Olympic swimming gold medal winner. For the fourth straight year, Jacksonville's Gator Bowl is a sellout. 71,136 fans are here today to see the Mississippi Rebels tangle with the Auburn Tigers. It's 60 degrees and beautiful as the fans thrill to a pregame salute to patriotism by the Star Spangled Brigade of the United States Merchant Marine Academy. And here comes the old Miss team, Archie Manning's Rebel Army, they're calling it. And now the Auburn Tigers. This is their fourth Gator Bowl appearance. The Tigers quarterback, Pat Sullivan, led the nation in total offense, yards gained per play, and percentage of passes completed. Manning captured the Walter Cup Memorial Trophy in 69, plus 12 other distinctive awards. By matching these two outstanding quarterbacks, Norm Harrison, chairman of the selection committee, has a lot to smile about, as does Jacksonville Mayor Hans Tanzler. Manning against Sullivan is a dream duel. Mississippi and Auburn, two schools rich with football tradition to square off. Auburn on the receiving end of the Gator Bowl kickoff. Mickey Zofko, inside his five, is on the return. Nicely, He's nearly back to the Auburn 40-yard line. The Auburn offense is explosive. And here's Pat Sullivan connecting with Ronnie Ross, and the Tigers invade Mississippi territory quickly. 
Open, first and ten at the Ole Miss 48. Mississippi tackle Buddy Mitchell leads the charge, and there's but a yard gain for fullback Clark. Gatebo for a perfect day for this wide open tussle. Beasley on the receiving end of a Sullivan pass. That's a famous Tiger combination. But on Auburn fans, on that play, Ole Miss was offside, and of course, Auburn will take the game. The Tigers, with Paul Davis acting as head coach, are in striking range. A quick flip to Dick Schmalls, and Auburn's attack is near the 20-yard line. It's a battle of quarterbacks here in the Gator Bowl, and Auburn's Pat Sullivan is on stage first. Zofko on the option. He's inside the 15. From here, a combo Auburn fans have been cheering all season long. Sullivan to Beasley. And Auburn striked first in the 1970 Gator Bowl Classic. The pride of Ole Miss, quarterback Archie Manning, injured arm and all, steps on stage. His first call goes to tailback Greg Ainsworth, and he gains five yards. Ole Miss. Trailing by a touchdown, has a first down. Manning barking the signals, takes aim again. On target to Jim Poole. Look out though, there's Auburn's linebacker, Bobby Strickland. Jacksonville, Florida, Gator Bowl, first quarter, and Mississippi will have to give up the football. Barefooted kicker, Larry Northam kicks, and it's a nifty. Rolling out of bounds in Tiger territory. Auburn advances quickly with the 43 of Ole Miss, and Sullivan is on target again. This time to Mickey Zafko, who hails from Melbourne, Florida. Pat Sullivan can throw and is blessed with fine receivers. That's Beasley gathering one in and fighting to the Ole Miss eight-yard line. Wow, this Auburn team is something. The Ole Miss defense battles the Tigers to a third and goal. Quarterback Sullivan reverses his field, keeps himself inside the five to the two-yard line. Trailing seven to nothing, the Ole Miss Rebels will dig in with Auburn a dangerous two yards away. Son to the right side, met by Stan Moley and Elmer Allen. The result, a super Mississippi goal line stand. Archie Manning and Ole Miss play it wide open. As Manning connects with Ainsworth from deep in Mississippi Terry. Not enough, however, for a first down. And Auburn will get the football back again. The punt from the end zone is fumbled by a Tiger. It's up for grabs. Out of bounds in Auburn's possession. Seven to nothing Auburn in the Jacksonville, Florida famed Gator Bowl. Great blocking for Wallace Clark. It's a 25 yard excursion and Auburn is in scoring range again. The Tigers Sullivan and Ronnie Ross play throw and catch. Versatile Auburn with Sullivan back, tossing in the heavy traffic, and Terry Beasley holds on near the seven-yard line. 71,136 watching here in the Gator Bowl and millions more on NBC television across America as Sullivan fires a bullseye to Alvin Bressler. The cry war eagle as Auburn has another touchdown. Gardner Jett, the kicking specialist of the Tigers, adds the point after, and Auburn owns a 14 to nothing lead over Ole Miss. Second quarter of play, Ole Miss on defense again as Auburn proves their offensive might. Sullivan to Henley, well played by Armstrong and a loss on the play. Sullivan's a great student of the game from Birmingham, Alabama. And this time he attacks the middle himself and the quarterback sneak spells Tiger touchdown.
let's watch it again. Just like it's drawn on the blackboard, Sullivan for 37 yards and the third Auburn trip into the end zone. Auburn 21, Mississippi nothing. And the fans get the answer to Archie who? Mr. Manning, the pride of Drew, Mississippi, tosses to Floyd Franks for a rebel first down. Trailing by 21 points, Manning hands off to Jim Porter, but Porter can't get by Hayworth and McCracken. From his own 40-yard line, Manning brings out the Ole Miss tradition. Cast and all, Archie races into Auburn's end of the field. First and 10, Mississippi, at the Auburn 48. Gator Bowl, second quarter. Manning to Floyd Franks. And the Biloxi, Mississippi senior just won't come down. second quarter excitement, the Auburn attack seems unstoppable. And with catches like that by Bressler, they really are. Down real close. Mississippi gets a break. Fullback Clark gets and fumbles through the end zone for a touchback. Mississippi will gain possession at their own 20. A tough break for Auburn. Archie Manning in charge again. Passing to a famous Mississippi name, Poole. Jim Poole, that is. Acting head coach, Bruiser Kennard, is really keeping his team fired up. Now it's the Ole Miss offense that's clicking. The Manning to Poole combo, shine again, across midfield. 21 to 7, Auburn. And what a first half of excitement it's been. That jet streak is Greg Ainsworth racing to the Auburn 34. And here's famous number 18 rolling to the more difficult side to throw from, but Manning is on target to Floyd Franks for a touchdown. How about that Archie who? Is he excited? Here's the Ole Miss touchdown play again. Auburn's explosions, Mississippi's comeback. And at halftime in the Gator Bowl, it's Auburn 21, Mississippi 14. Well, after that spectacular first half, let's take a breather while the bands perform. First out on the field is the University of Mississippi band, so let's listen. for the Auburn University Band. The fans are really enjoying this colorful afternoon here in Jacksonville's Gator Bowl. the Gator Bowl All-Star Band, which is composed of the top 200 high school band musicians in Duval County, Jacksonville's home county. <laughs> Doc Severinsen, music director of the Johnny Carson Tonight Show, is out there leading this halftime spectacle. That's Gator Bowl Queen Claudia Ann St. Dennis making her final appearance.
There's a heavy patriotic theme being featured here today, and the crowd loves it. While we're waiting for the second half to get underway, let's take a quick look at the home of the Gator Bowl, Jacksonville, Florida. Situated on the banks of the St. Johns River, it boasts being the largest deep water port in the South Atlantic. Its highway, rail, and air facilities are second to none. Jacksonville's new $25 million international airport is one of the most important hub airports in the South. It enjoys a varied economy. It's a Navy center, banking hub of Florida, insurance capital of the Southeast, and a major distribution center. One look around and you can see it's a very nice place to live, too. It's game time again, second half coming up. And here's your play-by-play -play announcer. Gator Bowl second half, like the first, action pack. Sullivan of Auburn tossing. Ross receiving. Auburn on the move. First and ten is the War Eagle cry. Mississippi defenseman. Carpenter and Allen cause a fumble. Horn recovers for the University of Mississippi. The 1970 Gator Bowl Classic, Jacksonville, Florida, Auburn 21, Ole Miss 14. And the Rebels own the football now. Manning is on target. So is linebacker Bobby Strickland. Poole can gain but two. Larry Northam will do the punting again for Ole Miss. And talk about coverage, the Rebels really catch up with Larry Willingham. Acting coach Paul Davis, well in command for the Tigers, as quarterback Sullivan hands off to Clark. A dancing act into Mississippi's end of the field. First down, Auburn at the Ole Miss 47. Sullivan goes for the bomb. And Terry Beasley catches up with it. Say he's some kind of pass catcher. Auburn first and goal inside the five. The Tigers lead is 21 to 14. Sullivan is calling the signals. He wants to go outside, but the Mississippi defense says no. Freddie Farmer, the tackler. Auburn will try again. Sullivan this time calls running back Mickey Zofko. And Auburn hits Pater again. Gator Bowl score, 28 to 14. Auburn leads. Fans ask, can Archie do it again? He starts with a pass to end, Floyd Franks. And when Archie Manning carries himself, it brings everybody in the Gator Bowl to their feet. And this trip is no exception. And here's that 42-yard Archie Manning dash again. One of the things fans talk most about in the 1970 Gator Bowl attraction. Manning deserves a breather. And six-foot-four junior, Shug Chumbler comes in at quarterback. Chumbler loses little time as he passes to Big Jim Poole. Ole Miss scores. It's now a 28 to 21 Gator Bowl thriller. The fans have been buzzing since the start. And here's Auburn's fine fullback, Wallace Clark, finding daylight. And he rambles for 19 more yards. And on this third 
touchdown play. Auburn's trying to add to their touchdown lead. Ole Miss says no to fullback Clark. That will bring up a fourth down. And Sullivan keeps himself. Jeff Horn drives underneath. And it is not an Auburn touchdown. The second outstanding Ole Miss goal line stand today. 28 to 21, the Gator Bowl score. Mississippi standing 98 yards away from a touchdown. Manning to Franks for short yardage. Here's Archie Manning on the loose again, but Dave Beck prevents a first down. Now for his own end zone, the punter, Larry Northam, takes aim upfield. And hold on, fans. Here's how it looks to the men on the Gatorville turf when Larry Willingham races the punt back for another Auburn touchdown. This, the 26th edition of the famed Gator Bowl, is not lacking for excitement. Let's relive that 54-yard punt return once more. Willingham is the loose tiger. season long, the Auburn scoring machine has given opponents nightmares. Fourth quarter and Wallace Clark is on the rampage. The Auburn Tigers are only 18 yards away from Pater. And Sullivan tosses, but big Elmer Allen intercepts. He's had quite a day of football and Ole Miss just won't quit. Archie Manning, first and ten at the 16. Manning to pool. It's an Ole Miss first down. And Gator Bowl fans are up again. As Manning has decided to carry the football himself. And you know what that means. Excitement. It's another one of those Manning scrambles. just can't describe Manning's courage in the Gate of Old Attraction. And here's Archie Manning's 38-yard dash in sensational fashion once again. Gator Bowl, 35 to 21 Auburn. Quarterback Chumbler replaces Manning and the effort continues. Chumbler to Stuttered, good catch. Junior quarterback Shug Chumbler can really throw and big end Vernon Stuttered can grab that football. It's first and goal at the half yard line for Mississippi. And it's Chumbler going over for Ole Miss. Wow. Auburn's explosions and Mississippi's continuing fight back. What a gateable game. 35-28. Archie Manning voted into the Gateable Hall of Fame along with Pat Sullivan. And Manning to the very end giving the football fans a day to remember.
The over defense puts a stop to a late Mississippi effort here in the Gator Bowl. Both head coaches, Alvin Shug Jordan and Mississippi's John Bort, miss being in Jacksonville for the 1970 Gator Bowl event. However, the representatives, the two gentlemen, gave the Gator Bowl its most exciting moments. Alvin 35, Mississippi 28.